Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I am late on this one. I was away but I'm back now so I'm going to cover it. Yesterday we got a massive update on Space Marine 2, what is coming, how it's coming and wow a bio titan. <laughs> So yes, yesterday evening, I believe it was around about 7 o'clock, I was sat at my fire pit while I was away next to my glamping pod, drinking a bottle of wine, and Focus dropped a massive update. So while I'm going to be speaking, I'm going to throw it up, up on the screen, so you're going to be able to look at it if you haven't yet seen it. If you haven't seen it, you're probably living under a rock. But yeah, it's it was a pretty comprehensive video. There is a lot in there um, and a lot of information, and it kind of asks, raises a couple of questions as well as answers a lot of them too. So first things first, the new operation is coming and that is gonna be the new one on Kadaku and we are going to be fighting a Bio Titan. Now, that's a kind of interesting fight. I'll be interested to see how that's going to work. Um, on the tabletop, infantry will not be able to go up against a unit like a Bio Titan or a Titan in general, because one, you wouldn't really do much damage to it, and two, it would probably just do one stomp attack and absolutely obliterate you. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that fight works, and it was not on my list of potential new enemies that we would see in the game um bio titan definitely wasn't on there so maybe i need to think a little bit bigger for the next one we also got a roadmap um a sort of looking at the roadmap and they kind of hinted at a lot of cool things um obviously there's a little bit of speculation there about raven guard being confirmed but i think there's no real need to do videos about things like raven guard being confirmed or whatnot because i think every major chapter that is in the game as in the first founding chapters so the first nine are going to get a sort of dlc built around them um and the different cosmetic skins like it's really cool to see the dark angels get their champion skin for the bulwark that really really works really quite nicely i can imagine the blood angels getting the vanguard champion skin maybe the raven guard also um i see the white scars getting something like the vanguard um maybe the the uh, the the sniper would probably be a better fit for the raven guard and the heavy would probably work really quite well with the imperial fists even though the ultramarines already have that um probably that or um the tactical would probably work and then you obviously you've got the you know a lot of the others but i think there's going to be some overlap when it comes to the champion skins and regarding the classes but all in all it looks pretty good the vulcrite neo vulcrite pistol looks really interesting really interesting to see what that actually does uh, and if it's going to be worth it in the long run and yeah but all in all it looks like a really really good update now some of the things that i think it's answered in regards to the questions that were raised is about the season pass now in the video they comment and say that when they're talking about the season passes and they kind of show season three and season four and then they have season five and six redacted but obviously there's things there in the works for it um they kind of mention the fact that for ultimate and gold edition owners we get access to the season pass now initially when the season pass was dropped i was under the impression and i think a lot of people were the same is that every season you would have to buy a season pass which to be fair i'm i'm good i'm okay with i don't mind dropping 35 pound if i know i'm going to get some really sweet looking cosmetics you know that's pretty cool i mean let's look at it this way in dark tide you're looking at anything from 15 to 20 pound per class skin in that cash shop so dropping 35 pound per season to get a host of cosmetics seems a bit of a good deal especially when the rest of the game is coming as free content so that's pretty cool but it seems to imply in this video that that's not how that's going to work that if you have bought the ultimate or the gold edition you're going to get because the season pass became a part of your edition you're going to get access to these that means also if you've bought the season pass um as an extra add-on so like you've bought the base game and then paid 35 pound for the season pass after launch um when it became available on steam or through your um your platform like playstation or xbox 
then you're going to get that. And it seems to be that once you've got it, you seem to get access to it no matter what, which is a really, really, really cool thing. Um, I'm pretty excited about that, but we'll obviously that will be confirmed as once we get to season three, because, you know, season two seems to be obviously confirmed. We're getting that now. It's that's about to drop. And as we said, it is dropping in October and it's I would not be surprised to see this update next week at the at the latest um but yeah super excited about it but as soon as we start seeing things for season three that's when we'll know if the season pass is going to be seasonal or as if you if it's a one-time buy um either way i'm happy to support the game and give the developers the money because they have produced an absolute amazing game and 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 financially supporting them that way is 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 a given if you're a big fan of the game all in all, I'm really happy and I really can't wait. Um, I will be live streaming later tonight um, because the Hive Tyrant will die today. Uh, I mean, the boys are going to be coming in there on Ruthlessness to bring down that Hive Tyrant. I thought I'd actually done it, but I, apparently I haven't. Um, um, I think I've been pretty close of killing it, but not killed it yet on, on, on level four. So we will be doing that tonight on live, on live stream. We're going to be going in at hard and we're going to be killing it. So that's going to be super exciting. But yes, more content for Space Ring 2 is coming along the way. I'm going to be looking at some of the other sort of, um, playthroughs of some of the missions, um, which is, should be good. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fun and I'm really looking forward to the update. It's going to be amazing. A Bio Titan, wow, really cannot wait for that fight, um, the Bio Titan fight I think is going to be pretty special, I think we get a hint in the trailer at how that's going to work, um, it seems that you're going to have gun turrets or missile turrets or something to be able to target it, uh, although I would love to be able to charge it with my power sword or chain axe and chainsaw and, and cut it down that way, which would be fun, but we're probably going to need bigger heavy weapons to bring it down. It is a bio titan after all. Um, but that then opens up the uh, the window because they did say in the video that there's going to be a new Thousand Suns enemy. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing a video really deep diving what that could be. Now that they've opened the floodgates and brought a bio titan into the game. Uh, also Helldivers, you guys have bite you've got you guys have got titans. Yeah, baby. Now Space Marine 2 has their very own bio titan. It's going to be good times. So if you have liked my content, like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And you can check out my members and Patreon areas if you want to support me in other ways. And I will see you tonight, everybody, uh, when we go hunting for a hive tyrant. And I will see you in the battlefields, brothers. Catch you later.